Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Aesthetically Amber TV. I'm Amber, and this is a rant video because I need to comment on some stuff, and I feel like if I comment on it, it's gonna be great. I'm not even gonna hint to y'all what it's about. So, you gotta watch this video, and let's get into it. So, today's rant topic is guys, best friends. Hmm. Hmm. What could Amber possibly be talking about? So, I have two type of guy best friends situations that I want to talk about. We're going to talk about the first one because it's fresh in my mind and I just want to get it off my chest. So, first thing you need to look out for is the guy best friend that's your man best friend. And this is more for your man. So, boyfriends of females y'all need to listen to this okay y'all need to watch y'all little guy friends that y'all be calling y'all best friends because honey boo boo child sweetie pie love because i call y'all my love so love listen to me he is hinting to your girl that you out here doing bullshit. Let me say it one more time for y'all in the back. For you way, way, way in the back. For you that had your headphones on real low. I'm going to say it one more time. For y'all that's listening to it in your car, turn it up. Turn it up. Yo mans that you calling your best friend. Out here hinting to your girl that you out here doing bullshit. I'm gonna let that sink in. We're gonna let it sink in. Okay, now that that has sunk in your head, you should not let the following happen. Don't let your guy friends that be around you when you be doing your bullshit have your girl on Snapchat. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or had a number. Them five things will get you caught up. Caught up? Yeah. Caught up. You gonna be caught up. And it's funny to me because it be like, dang. Like, that's supposed to be your man's. And he's snitching. Dropping subtle hints dropping subtle hints like and they don't even be subtle hints sometimes they be just bold out here just saying stuff like damn i can't believe i'm third wheeling hmm well you always hang out with michael michael my man he always with michael so who he third wheeling with and <laughs> I hate to say this, but Snapchat really about to get y'all caught up. Because you know that little thing where you can zoom out and see, like, locations and stuff? Tattletailed on your ass. Woo! So, uh, Traquan posts a snap talking about he third willing. So, since you know your boyfriend Michael always be with Traquan... You go zoom out on Snapchat and double check that. And then they be right behind each other. Caught up. Cause your friend a snitch. He posted it on Snapchat for a reason. He knew you was gonna watch it. He knew you was gonna react. So guys, watch out for them friends. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say always the ones that call themselves your best friend that build a relationship with your girlfriend that be snitching on y'all so i just want y'all to know that i just had to get that off my chest because it was just sitting there and i'm like this in my soul i need to go off about it because y'all dumb and it's the guy friends that's dumb because the female friends that become friends with the boyfriend they don't be snitching see girls have a girl code we got girl code 
if you a girl and you doing your dirt and your best friend right there, your best friend gonna look at you like, you not shit. But I ain't gonna tell. They not gonna drop no subtle hints. You not gonna know shit. And that's why dudes be so butthurt when they find out they girl cheating on them. Dudes be so butthurt when they get played by a girl. Dudes be always wanna call girls dogs. You're just mad, and, I, and this is for, this is PSA, and I and I will and I will just say it because it's been said before, but I'm gonna say it again. You're just mad because we are more sneaky than you are, and we don't get caught up like you do. That's something for your ass, right there. We know how to keep our mouths closed. Y'all just just be doing dumb stuff. Just dumb. Just dumb. Like, it was a meme. I posted it on my Snap. If you follow me on Snap, you saw it. Dudes be wondering how girls find stuff out. First things first. We not dumb. We can put two and two together. Second... The girl you messing with is probably messy and she gonna and she gonna tell on herself and don't know how to stay in her place. So she gonna be messy. So that's a that's one right that's another one right there. Watch them girls you be messing with. Messy. And the third one was exactly what I be talking about. Your best friend, yes, the niggas that you be claiming is loyal, be the main one snitching and dropping hints to to us. Let that sink in, and we're going to talk about the next set of guy friends. So, this is for my more female viewers slash guy viewers a little bit, but this is for, no, this is more for the guy viewers slash females a little bit. That's what it's for. So, um, I know a lot of guys... Personally, me personally, I'm friends with a, a lot of guys. I have more guy friends than I have female friends because I've always just made more connections with guys because I just get along with them. You know, about the drama and I got the petty shit. And I've gotten advice from guys on how to deal with guys I'm in a relationship with. So, I have had guys in my life that I've called my best friends over females. Plenty, plenty of times I've called a guy my best friend over having a female best friend. Oh, excuse me. And I know a lot of guys out here are fine with having female best friends until they date a girl that has a whole bunch of guy best friends. And my thing is, why aren't you securing yourself? You need to be able to trust that I'm not going to do nothing with my guy best friend. Nine times out of ten, the guy best friend has tried to talk to your girl. That's that's keeping it a buck. He has tried to talk to your girl or your girl thought he was cute at some point. At some point, there was some sexual attraction. At some point. And that's keeping it real. People can sit here and lie all they want and say, I never had that. No. Nine times out of ten... That's how it happened. They became friends because there was some sexual attraction somewhere and they became friends. It's a very like one per like one out of ten chance that a guy and a girl literally became friends because they found out they had stuff in common and that's how they became friends. At some point, it was more the 90% of the time type of thing where it was some sexual attraction and never led anywhere. It, but they still have stuff in common, and so they stay friends. Now, where a lot of y'all guys get it twisted is, if that girl is in a relationship with you, don't you think she don't like him? Why, if, if she really wanted to be with that guy, why isn't she with him? They best friends. They with each other all the time. If she, if she wanted to be with him, she would be with him. But she with you. So she want to be with you. So why are you worried about another nigga? 
See, to me, it turns into some little gay shit, some low-key gay shit. Because you, you must think that nigga's attractive. You must think that nigga's cute. You must like him yourself. Because you see something in him that your girl might like. Ooh, he kind of cute. This is exactly what be going in my head when somebody complained about me having got friends. What you looking at another, another dude like that for? Why are you worried about me trying to talk to him? I'm talking to you. I want to talk to you. I'm not, I'm not worried about him. I'm going to talk to you. Why are you worried about somebody else? You must like him. Oh, you think he cute? Like, I, I've never understood that. But let that sink in for a second. Okay, we're back. So, now that that's sunk in your head, ladies, this is for y'all. Please, please, pretty please, please stop this foolishness because you gotta stop it. When you have a guy friend that you know flirts with you all the time, even though y'all have distinguished that it is a guy friend relationship, you have friend zone the shit out of them. If you get in a relationship with someone and that person is still out here flirting with you, please dead the friendship. Pretty, pretty please. But that's my friend. That's no longer your friend, boo. Because it was all cool when you were single. Now you're in a relationship. So now you have your man that you with messed up. All the way messed up. So, yeah. And that means guys that be getting a little too up in your face. Blowing your phone up. Um, what else? real life flirting with you touching on you hugging you a little too long a little too tight yeah boo you gotta cut that off when you get in a relationship gotta cut that off cause excuse me mm -mm. cause if your man had a female friend that was doing that same stuff on who you wouldn't be trying to fight her I'll wait, because I know me. And the dude I'm with got a female friend that's doing all that extra stuff. Oh, she getting slapped. Like, I don't understand. Why are you doing all that? Say no. But back to the guys in this situation, since I brought up female friends for y'all. Y'all need to tell y'all female friends to chill. Because, see, I have a lot of guy friends. And... A lot of my guy friends are fine. I'm not gonna lie, I have some fine friends. Like, I don't, I don't really have a lot of ugly guy friends. You know, everybody got a couple, but I don't have no real ugly guy friends. Some, a lot of them are fine. But that doesn't mean, oh, excuse me, I'm so tired. That doesn't mean that I'm going up under their pictures on social media, commenting hard eyes and all that other shit. That's a dub, cause that sends mixed messages, especially if I'm in a relationship or I know they're in a relationship. I ain't co what am I commenting all that under your picture for? That's weird. That's weird. I don't care if you looking like a snack or not. <sighs> looking like a meal. It should your guy friend. Or your female friend should not be commenting heart eyes under your picture. That's left for people you trying to talk to. So if you commenting that under your guy friend or your female friend picture. Or they doing the same stuff under your picture. Y'all together in my opinion. Y'all doing stuff. Y'all y'all together. Y'all in a relationship. Or y'all trying to be in a relationship. Because that's some relationship type shit. That's some, that's some flirting. That's flirting. That ain't no damn appreciation. None of that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. If he think you fire, he can put flames under your picture. If he think the picture look nice, he can say, yo, this is dope. If she think the picture look nice, she can be like, okay, best friend. It don't need to go past that. 
You don't need to go into emoji using hard eyes. No. No, no, no. That's a no, no. And that's my, that's where my rant going to end. That's a no, no. That's exactly where my rant going to end. Yeah. So, I hope you all enjoyed my rant. I was all over the place. But I touched on some major stuff that I be seeing. And I've had personal experience on. So, you know, I had to keep it real with y'all. Gotta keep it real. Because that's the only way to be. So, yeah. Like always. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. Follow me on Snapchat. Amber with a 3. But an E. Underscore Celia. Follow me on Instagram. Amber Celia underscore. Follow me on Twitter. Amber underscore Celia. Please let me know if you're a subscriber, if you start watching my stuff on Snapchat, because I want to add you, but I won't add you if you don't tell me who you are, because that's a little weird. So, I hope everyone has a blessed day, and I'll see you soon.